We're going to look at part B first and then go to part C. The first key is writing this as a fractional exponent. So this is the same as x to the 5 thirds. This will be the fraction. This will be the upper power. So our power rule says we bring the 5 thirds down. We have 5 thirds x to the 5 thirds minus 1. But I'm going to rewrite 1 conveniently as 3 over 3. So now I'm looking at 5 thirds x to the 2 thirds. And you should also be ready to see this as 5 thirds the cube root of x squared. I accept it either. Next, part C, we have a 3 in the denominator, and our brain should be screaming, bring that up as a negative exponent. So 2 times x minus 3 to the negative 3 power, and we want to find this when x is 4. Now we're looking at any power rule problem. Negative 3 comes down, and I have negative 3 times the original 2 times x minus 3 to the new power of negative 3 minus 1 more. That's the same as negative 6 times x minus 3 to the negative 4. But we could rewrite that as x minus 3 in the denominator to the positive power of 4. Of course, I better erase this. We're almost done. Normally we would be, but they've told us, hey, we want the derivative at a particular x value. So we're going to plug that in, and we're looking at negative 6 over 4 minus 3 to the 4th power. Well, that's just negative 6 over 1, negative 6.